comes to the sound. You can feel it in your, in your stomach when one goes past you, vibrates through you. I grew up in Malvern, so I've always sort of seen the cars going around Malvern. I went to school with different people whose parents or friends worked at the factory, so you always heard things about the factory, uh, but I never actually came here, so it's a bit of a, a mystery. Being the only company in the world really making the product that we make, something I aspired to. That would be my most significant tattoo. I had that because obviously in my craft I have to, you know, it's always best to check twice before you make a cut. Working here, it is a close family bond. It's friendships. You meet up outside of work. You get on with a lot of people. When I first started working here, they said, welcome to the extended Morgan family, which was quite nice to know that you're part of a family that's got so much history. You just care about the car as well as the people who you're working with. The build process is we still use, everything's hand built. The, in, the, in the tin shop, the panel beating, the noise and, and the smells around the factory as well, especially in the wood shop and in the trim shop with the leather. It's almost like stepping back in time. When I walked through the doors this morning for the first time into the Morgan factory, I was quite taken aback how little machinery there was. There was no robots running about building things. It was all done by hand, it was done by passion, it was skill. And it reminded me a lot of the distillery when we visited the wood shop. It reminded me a lot of our cooperage where the coopers tend and renew and make the barrels to put our whiskey in. It's actually really quite peaceful here as people work away with their hands to create different shapes and different elements of the car. The collaboration came about because of the handcrafted nature of both our companies. Balvenie being the last handcrafted whisky in the world and Morgan being the last handcrafted car company in the world. There is an inherent imperfections in putting something together by hand that we don't see at all as a disadvantage but just an advantage. At Morgan you work alongside these craftsmen on a daily basis. They actually arguably make my job a little easier so I'll have an idea then I'll go and speak to them and their inherent knowledge of working with materials and woods and leathers and what they can do with it kind of influences the design a little bit. And working together, we come, come up with some really cool ideas. The touches of character that appear from one car to the next when things are slightly different make each car very, very personal. You can start coming up with a really exciting car, and that's exactly what the guys at Balveni did. What yeah. we're looking at with the four-seater is keeping this rear wing exactly the same. Yeah. This front wing exactly the same. Yeah. But instead of having this very flat back here, yeah. we're actually going to stand that up a little bit more. We now have quite a long towering roof line, almost like a bit of a sort of 1950s American. Yeah, I was car. just thinking that's kind of what it's like, isn't it? Combine that with a sort of warm exterior paint, saddle brown interior, with a nice light cream stitch on the inside. Yeah. Wood rim details. Um, I think that's a really nice thing. I'm getting excited about this. Brilliant, me too. <laughs> how, 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 when can I get it? How long is it going to take? Typically, about three to six months, but yeah. um, I'm sure we can work something out. <laughs> well, because it, it is handcrafted. So well, this I mean, is it. It takes us time. There's, there's nothing yeah. that can be rushed, really, in the process. Being a coach-built car, a lot of people I meet often ask me, oh, has it still got a wooden chassis? I have to sell them. As a car, we've never had wooden chassis. They've always been steel chassis. And it's just a wooden frame of the body that's mounted to the chassis. But that's what makes it special, because you know it's there, but it's not a visible part. It's history almost wrapped up in the interior. The jig here was built in 1952, 61 years old. That's how they were started back in 1909. We've just kept the tradition going, really. This is the rear wheel arch for the traditional Morgan. I put some battens on to try and keep them in the shape. 
uh, they go to a storage area where the guys on the benches then um, use the wheel arches to build the frames. I don't think you could go anywhere else in the world, I'm sure of it, and see anything being built in the same way. Working with your hands, you're starting with something basically from nothing and making the finished product. So, you, you know, when it's finished, you just look at it and say, well, I did that. I've managed to get into a company that is really hard to get into, but it's my passion as well. I was lucky enough to be taken on as an apprentice. Every day commutes, I travel an hour and a half to get here in the morning. It's the same sort of time to get back. It's because I want to work for Morgan. It's something I want to do. I don't mind getting up at half five in the morning. When I first came, you became part of the family, and on the shop floor, that hasn't changed a great deal. Good bunch of lads, always have been. I am past retirement age, and um, I am pondering on retirement, and I know I've got to make that decision to leave, but it won't be an easy one. Pack up something you've been doing for 53 years to know you're not going to do it again. So at the moment, I'm just lingering on, thinking, well, I'll make that decision next month. Possibly come Christmas when I've completed 53 years, I've got to be realistic and you kind of get approaching 70, you haven't got many good years left, so common sense must prevail and I must get out there and enjoy what retirement I've got. But uh, yeah, it'll, 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 a decision that will be taken with a heavy heart, I think. Every car is slightly different, so each car is unique because of the techniques that we use. It has to be handcrafted to each car. I couldn't make a set of seats or, or a hood for a car and then just throw it onto another car. There's a good chance it wouldn't fit. The four-seater is a lot different to anything else anybody makes, really, especially with the hood, being able to put the hood down in the summer and it being very open. Seeing these people working together in harmony to create something. And we're not talking about creating something one day, it's going to take months to create the final product. And I think that's something that's missing these days, and it was just really heartwarming to be able to see that happening somewhere like Morgan. It is a challenge, but I can see myself being here for quite a long time. I'd like to be here and watch the company evolve. There's a lot of skill on the shop floor. Currently there are 150 shop floor workers in the Morgan family. So I suppose you've got 300 hands. <laughs> driven a handcrafted car and there's something so unique and so special about doing that. It was nothing I could have ever prepared myself for. It was probably one of the greatest pleasures I've ever had in my life.